Wyoming at Shoot River Animal Hospital. I'm here today with my assistant, Sam, and we're going to discuss fleas and ticks with you. Dr. Catherine, can fleas and ticks spread from my dog to my home and family? They can. It takes only one tick or one flea to get on your pet and then spread to you. Very interesting. Can my dog get fleas and ticks if they're primarily an indoor dog? They can. Like I said, just mentioned, they go outside to probably go to the bathroom or to go someplace with their owner and one tick or one flea comes in the house and can spread to your other pets. What health problems can fleas and ticks cause my dog? Uh, fleas carry, can cause anemia if there's a heavy enough burden and they can pass other diseases. Ticks are more common in our area and the big things that they spread are um, Lyme disease, anaplasmosis, and auricula. How effective are flea and tick medications? It depends. Uh, oral flea and tick medications are superior to either topical or uh, collars. The, uh, a lot of topicals now have resistance to them or take too long to kill uh, ticks and are resistant to fleas. What is the difference between over-the-counter and prescription flea and tick medications? Um, a lot of over-the-counter medicines have been on the market for a really long time, such as Frontline, and that's why we're seeing a flea and tick resistance to them. Uh, there's also a lot of generics in the carrier that transmits those um, uh, chemicals in them might not be as effective, and so we also see breakdown. What different types of flea and tick preventative treatments are there? Uh, as I mentioned, there are orals, there are collars, and there are topicals, and um, it's best to have a discussion with your veterinarian about what's appropriate for your pet. What will my veterinarian recommend for flea and tick treatment? I can't speak for other veterinarians, but for here we typically recommend an oral product that um, will last for three months. And for cats, we it's a topical because they couldn't get enough, enough cats to eat the oral, but it's the same um, drug, only in a liquid form. How can I identify fleas on my dog? It can be tricky. They can, are very, very tiny. Um, often you will see them chewing at their butt area. Um, a flea comb, which is a really fine tooth, um, might help you find them, or sometimes you see them jumping off your pet. How can I identify ticks on my dog? Uh, usually people find them when they are attached and fully engorged. Uh, rarely you'll see them crawling on your pet. If you find one, you can remove it um, or you can bring it to us to take off for you. And final question, what should I do if I see fleas or ticks on my dog? Uh, don't panic. Call your veterinarian so we can help you with medication. Also, decontamination of the environment is super important.